I am currently in my car. Hey guys, what's up? It is currently Wednesday and we're about to go hammocking and I'm super pumped for it. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, we found a snapping turtle today. So that happened. <laughs> so I just wanted to start off the vlog here before I go hammocking. Never hammocked in my life before. Don't even own one, but all three of my friends here today all have hammocks and they're all setting them up and we're all gonna have like a little picnic so I've got my lunch bag just chilling on the floor right now this is what we're doing today even if I should be studying for exams Shh, teachers you don't know that do you have your stuff Cora. This is so fun I feel like I'm like in between two trees I'm so garden. tempted to like flip you over right now <laughs> You would never do that to me. Would. Yeah, I would. She would. I would. <laughs> it is Friday. But I finished my sophomore year of high school. So I am now officially a junior. Oh my gosh. Like, it's so crazy to think about. It blows my mind that it's summer. This school year just flew so quickly. And the fact that it's already June at that, I mean, we're halfway through the year. <laughs> so I think I'm going to spend some time cleaning because I've got a ton of laundry. This is all clean laundry, don't worry, but I need to hang it up. I've been super busy this week with exams, so I think that I'm going to hang that up. I might clean up the rest of my room. Not that the rest of my room is super dirty. It's pretty clean. Um, but yeah, so I just set up my laptop on my chair here. I'm going to watch some friends to keep me entertained while I do my laundry. So yeah. I just went to Starbucks a little while ago and I got the pink drink. Pink drink. Good job, Starbucks. Hey guys, it's Sunday. So I am currently in my car. I got a car, guys. So this was my mom's car, but she got a new car and I'm getting weird looks from people. Um, so this is my car now and oh my goodness. Ah, I'm so happy. I haven't named it yet. So far, I'm down to three names. Giggles, Bubbles, and, oh shoot, what was the other one? Oh my gosh. I can't remember. So I guess I'm just down to Giggles and Bubbles, because those are the only two. I think I like Bubbles more, but I want your guys' input, so comment down below which one you think I should go with. Um, but yeah, so this is a Toyota Prius. Um, it's a silver car, and I love it so much. I have half a tank of gas, so at least I don't have to, I don't have, I, I have half a tank of gas to get myself on my own. I don't have my license yet, but yeah, so this is my car, guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, does anybody else put salt on their watermelon? Because, like, I feel there's no better way to eat watermelon than with salt on it. Check out my cute little salt shaker, salt shaker. I don't know. I just feel like putting salt on watermelon just like brings out the flavor so much more. 
Comment down below if you put salt on your watermelon. Or if you put something else on your watermelon. I know some people that put sugar on their watermelon. So who knows, maybe you put something even crazier. Comment down below what you think. So I was just kind of going through some of my vlogs. Just like watching bits and pieces from some of my videos. And I realized I screwed up the numbers on my intro. You guys know my intro. I apparently am supposed to be, like, this is supposed to be vlog 9, but apparently I had two threes, so it went 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if you're wondering why this vlog was titled 9 and there's like technically no 8, technically the one where we cake John was um vlog eight so the numbers are screwed up and i'm kind of mad about that but there's nothing i can do now so whatever so if you're wondering why that's why so a lot of people have been asking me about the vinyl that i own i own quite a lot of vinyl um i listen to it all the time i love the record store here um where i live it's massive, there's stuff from today, there's stuff from back in the day, there's stuff from way back in the day. Um, they've got VHS, they have 45s, they have CDs, cassette tapes, movies, posters, I mean it's crazy all of the stuff that they have there. Um, but one of my favorite sections is the dollar section. I have found some seriously amazing find. I'm a huge fan of music from the 20s to the 60s. I'm gonna start with my 45s. So this is Andy Gibb. On one side it's Shadow Dancing, and the other side is Let It Be Me. I have Band on the Run by Paul McCartney and Wings on one side, and 1985 by Paul McCartney and Wings on the other side. Then I have Ticket to Ride by The Beatles, and Yes It Is by The Beatles. I'm a huge Elvis fan, so I have It's a Matter of Time by Elvis and Burning Love. Um, then I have Viva Las Vegas by Elvis and What What I Say. I have Blue Suede Shoes, that is my favorite Elvis song. And I Got a Woman, Blue Moon, and Just Because, also by Elvis. This one, I don't actually know what song it is. Um, well, actually, Phil Collins, Chester Thompson. Okay, so it's a drum duet, but this is something that my dad gave me. He told me that you could get these out of magazines when he was a kid, and you can just put them on the record, play it at the speed that you're supposed to, and you've got a record in a magazine. Then I have this Mouse Could Dancers. I have um, Olivia Newton-John's Physical. Oh, and The Promise. I've got Cook of the House and Silly Love Songs. Silly Love Songs is my favorite wing song. Live and Let Die and I Lie Around. Um, this is a song of 24 songs from around the 50s and 60s. I have All That Jazz. This was actually 50 cents. I have this Andre Costellanti's album. So I got Funny Lady, so I got that in the dollar section, and then I also got The Way We Were. I got a copy of Abbey Road. So I also have a copy of the Bee Gees album. Well, I love Broadway music, so this is like a bunch of opening night Broadway um, musicals. I am obsessed with the band Capital Kings. They're one of my favorite bands, so I have this album by them. I just got this one yesterday in the dollar section, and this is my most favorite album that I own, honestly. <laughs> It's all music from the 50s and the 60s. It's the Doris Day album. Um, so this is an Elton John album. So I decided to buy it because it was a dollar. I have a Grace Potter album. This is her most recent one, I believe. This was actually the first vinyl that I ever owned. This one was a dollar. This is Jesus Christ Superstar. Then I just bought this one yesterday and it's Swinging Guitar. Um, this is like one of the only, I think this is the only Christmas album that I own. I have a physical album. Then I also have Xanadu, the Roaring Twenties, the Teen Dance Time, Great Band Era. There are 10 records. I also have a, another box set of albums from the 50s and 60s, the Rockin' and Rolling 50s and 60s. I have The Sound of Music, so of course I have their Stressed Out album, 
and their Vessel album. Stories and songs of Halloween. And lastly, I have West Side Story. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday and I'm just going to end off the vlog here. I did absolutely nothing yesterday and I haven't really done much today. I did, however, create a blog today um, because I was bored. And if you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the description down below. So you can definitely check that out. It's just a fashion vlog. Um, it deals a lot with like hits or miss, so testing some products. Um, so I did test one product and you can actually see the foundation on my face. It did basically nothing for me. Um, you can still see all of the little marks and dark circles under my eyes, which I mentioned in the blog post, so you guys can go check that out. I will see you guys Sunday with something exciting. So be sure to like this video, um, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what you want to see next. And I'll see you later. Bye!